Hi everyone. Um, obviously, we've all started to get used to working from home and connecting with people across the business has never been more important. So we thought we'd start a series of conversations about people who are incredibly important to make the, the success of PayPal happen today. We saw in our Q2 uh, earnings the, the power of the PayPal global network with now 346 million users on the platform, record numbers on the back of societal changes in using digital services on the back of the COVID-19 challenges around the world and all markets doing record volumes with PayPal. And when we talk to our customers, PayPal, one of the key things that comes through is the safety and security of our services. So we thought there'd be no better place to start than talking to one of the key people that looks after the safety of our network. And so today I'd like to introduce you to Nofar, who's part of, who's a data scientist in our Tel Aviv office. Thank you, Nafar, for taking the time to be with me today. Um, so we wanted to, to really understand what does data science entail? What do you do as a data scientist? And um, you know, how do you see the PayPal network from your side? Yeah, so um, if I had to put it just in a nutshell, then uh, uh, the role of a data scientist would be to turn data into meaningful insights. So we basically use uh, small elements of data that separately may not mean much and then turn them into valuable predictions. So if we take as an example, um, uh, as you mentioned, fraud uh, detection, our job as data scientists would be to train a model that will learn from previous transactions performed on our platform and identify whether these transactions are valid or fraudulent. Um, this model will then be used uh, to predict the riskiness level of new transactions as they are being performed and then that way we can better uh, protect our customers. I have to say that this is, uh, for me, this is what motivates me most on my day-to-day -day work. The fact that um, our data scientists work is at the core of any business decision that's made for our customers. That's great. Now, talking about personal life and work life coming together and the balance in, in that setting, I mean, how have you thrived and, you know, some of the impacts around sort of work-life balance in the COVID-19 sort of lockdowns in Israel. What's work-life uh, balance mean to you? This was definitely uh, challenging to maintain work-life balance when this new reality came into our lives. Uh, I'm married and I have a year and a half year old daughter. And, uh, you know, when uh, the lockdown began in Israel, my our apartment was definitely not at all suitable to function both office for two techies as well as a daycare at the same time. It's not like we've experienced anything like COVID before in our lives. So this was uh, definitely challenging at first, but um, my husband and I eventually learned how to switch, let's say, shifts between work and being with our daughter so that we can provide 100% of our attention to her when we're with her to be able to, you know, not check emails or just respond to this one Slack message or just solve this one tiny bug. And um, I personally feel that uh, um, being able to do that has not only made me much more efficient at work when this routine was really followed, uh, but also I was able to really enjoy my the time with my daughter much more. And looking on the bright side of, of COVID and the things that it brought with it is uh, the fact that I was able to be at home and see her make her first steps when uh, the lockdown began. And uh, yeah, this is something that I would probably missed had I been at the office. So. Which is, I mean, that's fantastic. That's a great story. And because time goes so quickly, and I know uh, with dealing with the team in Israel, it's been tricky for, for people in Israel because obviously there was a lockdown, there was sort of a, a loosening and another lockdown. So we've been adjusting in Asia Pacific with COVID obviously initially in, in China and then coming down through Southeast Asia. And you've got to make the right business decisions as you go along on a personal level. Um, the lockdown in Singapore was great for me and my family because we tried to maximize those bright spots, those positive areas. And one of the things we agreed as a family we would do, I've got an 11 year old son and a four year old daughter, and we, we decided to raise money for the migrant workers that are locked down in, in Singapore in the dormitories. And there was a lot of COVID-19 cases there. Uh, and one of the only physical activities we could do was to cycle. So we continued to cycle through COVID-19 for the three months and did two and a half thousand kilometers, which was great. Uh, and my daughter, who was always on the back of the bike, decided she, she didn't want to do that anymore and actually was able to cycle for the first time without stabilizers. So she's now cycling with us uh, as a little four year old. So that was great. And th those memories you you know will always remember. Uh, so there's a lot of positiveness 
and I'm really proud of the way PayPal is supporting employees. You know, Dan made it really clear that employees were first and the decisions we're making around customers are really impressive as well. So, so with more bad actors coming into the, net, the PayPal network uh, with our record volumes, how has that changed the nature of your work? And what, and what do you think, you know, what more is expected of you as a data scientist at PayPal? Something that has definitely never changed at PayPal is the fact that things are constantly changing. So we're very much used to training this muscle of constantly uh, adjusting our solutions to most recent fraud trends, most recent behavioral changes and new products. Uh, you can imagine that uh, some of the actions, behaviors, uh, consumption habits uh, that we're all used to be doing ongoingly in our lives has somewhat changed. Our models are are being trained by and, and seeing the most recent uh, updates in the data and so that we can eventually have it expressed in our decision making. Okay, it sounds sounds great and it's also probably a, a struggle, right? You know, there's so much going on in the network. You've got to keep on top of your game all the time. It must be you know, quite energizing, but obviously quite a tricky subject. So just in terms of, um, you know, technology careers, and, you know, I've been to the Israel office a number of times and some fantastic people, well, fantastic people you meet every time. How did you start your journey? I know that a lot of other technology folks in Israel, you know, have army experience, there's sort of a military background. You know, tell us about your journey and how did you get to PayPal? Specifically for me, my career as a data scientist uh, didn't start uh, during my uh, military service. I was actually a paratroopers instructor at the IDF, so uh, not much data science was done then. Um, I'd say that it started uh, as part of my industrial engineering and management studies uh, at the university. Um, I started taking machine learning classes and I focused my research on AI, which uh, made me realize you know, the interest I have for this world. I mean. It's a huge domain and it can be implemented in so many fields from contextual to visual analysis to various problem solving through uh, statistic methods and abilities and um, it just made me want to deepen my knowledge in that area. So this was when I decided to start my master's at information systems and engineering and specifically focus it on uh, machine learning. And, um, and then five years ago uh, when I graduated my master's I joined PayPal and uh, and then basically here since. That's fantastic. I mean, I did a joint management and technology masters, but I could never say that I could ever do a job like yours. I mean, it takes a lot of precision, a lot of detail um, to do that. And you know, it's it's great that PayPal has uh, has people like you. So, the question on the top of my mind is really around, you know, what keeps a data scientist at PayPal? Specifically at PayPal, we utilize data science methods and capabilities um, into, as you mentioned, our uh, fraud uh, as well as credit and other provided services. So I would say that for me, the huge amounts of data, the variety of different types of problems, as I mentioned earlier, the the constant changing in our uh, constant changes, sorry, in our data. Um, and also the fact that uh, technologically we're very much advanced that enables us to really, uh, that's a great playground, this entire setting I just described, to be able to research and eventually deliver very high quality solutions that, again, are at the core of any decision we're making for our uh, customers. And uh, for me, I have to say that one thing that was very important when I graduated and started looking for a job was uh, um, kind of looking for a place where I could feel like I was working for the good guys and and this is for me something that I found at PayPal um, and uh, you know I, I other than that I really enjoy the fact that uh, there there are so many uh, data scientists uh, that are so talented working beside me both globally and locally I feel like data science has really grown here at the past several years and so a year ago we've actually formed um, what we call the data science community in Israel and uh, started working on various initiatives uh, that encourage knowledge sharing, uh, both locally and globally, uh, uh, to have, you know, as many um, as many open, honest and, and direct and very fruitful conversations uh, in which we get to talk about not only our uh, professional challenges and, and, and not only what we've accomplished in our work, but also, you know, what uh, worked well or didn't work as we expected as part of our uh, research. And uh, I feel like these forums enable us to uh, not only consult each other on many uh, different problems that surround us, but also, you know, just um, 
through that to be able to learn about so many different things that are happening around us uh, in the world of data science at PayPal. And, uh, you know, connecting back to what you've asked about COVID, I feel like I, I always knew that this was something I was looking for at, uh, at wherever I work. And this became highly important when we started, you know, working from home and interacting only virtually. That sounds I mean, amazing. There. So it's great that you play a big part in that industry development. Um, I mean, this is the first of a number of conversations. I'm really happy that um, that you could take the time to explain a lot more about data science. And, you know, I'm super proud of obviously the work that PayPal is doing around the world, but to be enabled by teams and people, professionals like yourself, I really appreciate um, your time. And uh, I'll definitely see you soon, hopefully in Tel Aviv. But thank you for your time today. Thank you. Thank you, Cameron. Take care.